Hi, Subhadeep. How are you? Yes, I'm good. Uh, Subhadeep, where are you from? So I'm from Sitchar. Okay. Awesome. And you currently are in class uh, 12? Yes, sir. Great. Did you write J? Yes, sir, I did J. OK, what uh, is your rank? Uh, uh, sir, I didn't have physics chemistry in class 12. Uh, but I gave uh, J just to test my maths knowledge. So, okay. uh, so I got 99.93 percent in maths. And the physics okay. chemistry went bad because I didn't know it. So. OK. Great. So when did your maths love for mathematics start? Uh, actually, it started from class 8. Uh, and uh, my father also used to help me at those times. So uh, then uh, usually I just started to give uh, Olympics related things. And uh, in Assam, there is a Olympic called Assam Academy of Maths. So they used to organize a maths every, every year. Uh, so uh, I used to give this every year. And this is how it started. Mm -hmm. And then I used to give uh, IOKM in more and PRM papers. So okay. great. So what are your areas of interest in mathematics? So it's uh, calculus, basically, my differential calculus, mostly. OK. OK, Subhadeep, can you discuss <clears throat> about the differentiability of the function fx is equal to mod x to the power k for different values of k? Uh, so is k natural number or something for different values okay k is uh, positive so please discuss for different values of k so should i consider k is a natural number or something like that or it can be like 0 0.1 fractions also. it can be it can be 0.1 okay <laughs> It can be rational also. Okay, can you think out aloud? Uh, yes, sir. So I found that uh, for like at first I considered that k is a natural number like this. So for like, k equals to one, uh, 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 so it is a uh, it is non differentiable at x equals to zero only. Okay. And uh, for all k greater than uh, one, and k is an uh, for all k greater than one, it is always like differentiable everywhere. Natural. Okay. If I consider it as a natural number. Okay. And uh, so if k is not a natural number. Yes, sir. So what happens to differentiability when k is greater than 1? Uh, sir, it's differentiable everywhere. Even if it is not a natural number? Uh, yes, sir. I can... This... OK. Can you prove this? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Because uh, if I consider any function mod x power k, so uh, it will be ex uh, if I uh, uh, write it in piecewise function, it will be x power k when x is greater than zero, and minus x power k when x is less than zero. So okay. uh, it is a continuous uh, everywhere. Y minus. That's a O. Mod x is uh, yeah. So uh, uh, it is continuous everywhere. So it will. Uh, so as it is continuous everywhere, it is uh, it will be k into x power k minus. So you can differentiate it. So it is k into x power k minus one and k into minus of x power k minus one. If k minus one is greater than zero here, then it will be like zero. So that's why I said uh, if k is greater than one, then it is differentiable everywhere. Okay. So the, yeah. So the problem is. Okay, so but can there be a point which is a point of local minimum and also a point of inflection at the same time? The function may or may not be differentiable. Uh, so if I uh, consider a function uh, that 
I mean, uh, I consider it non-differentiable function. So if I consider the point at x equals to a, and uh, for x less than a, it is concave, uh, like it is concave upward, mm -hmm. and it's always like a decreasing function. And at x equals to a, it is non-differentiable. Yeah, and then it's concave upward. Okay. Uh, from at x, at x goes to a and x goes to a plus, it will be always up increasing and can give upward. And there is a corner at point x goes to a. So will this be a point of so this you're saying? Uh, yes, sir. But will this be a point of inflection? What is point of inflection? Uh, so where the function m double dash uh, changes its captivity. So here, if double dash x or function does not changing it is not changing its concavity in this because it is concave upwards and concave upwards here also. You know, sir. I say, uh, okay, sir. It's like this: concave downward in the this one. So I mean this. Yes, sir. Okay, so the function is changing its concavity here. Yes, sir. So this would be a point of inflection. Uh, yes, sir. I think so. Even if it is not differentiable, because f dash x and f double dash x does not exist here. Hmm. Yes, sir. So, uh, for if f double dash uh, is zero or not exist, so it will be a point of inflection. Hmm. Okay. So, the, can you define d three y by dx cube yes, in terms sir. of dx by dy? d2x by dy2 and d3x by dy3. Yeah, so can you think out aloud? Uh, yes, sir. I got that uh, dy by dx is 1 upon dx by dy. So uh, that's uh, so now I can differentiate both sides uh, with respect to uh, like x. So it will be d square by uh, d square y by dx square equals to uh, 1 by dx by dy whole square. So it is. Um, Minus of dx d two y by dx two would be uh equals to like it is um wait sir okay can you think out aloud uh, yes sir I uh, just first considered it y equals to f x mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. uh d y by dx equals to f dash x mm -hmm. and d x by d y is one by f dash x and uh so I got that d y by d x is equals to one upon d x by d y okay. now sir. Uh, d square y by dx square is f double dash x and so uh, d square x by dy square is uh, uh, like minus of f dash uh, minus of 1 by f dash x whole square into dx by dy so uh, we can just uh, shift the value of d uh, like f double dash x of equals to d square y by dx square in f dash x so it will be set please. So I got d square x by dy square equals to minus one upon f dash x whole square into f double dash x into dx by dy. So we can just uh, put the values of f double dash and f dash uh, in terms of dy by dx and d square y by dx. So we will get the relation in terms of d square and uh, like dy by uh, d, d cube y by dx. Then we can just differentiate again. So what would be this? So uh, so it will be uh, d uh, d square x. In, uh, by d, uh, dy square into dy dy by dx whole cube uh, equals to minus of uh, d square y by dx square. No, no, I'm talking about d2y by dx2. Okay, sir. I got this as uh, minus of d square x by dy square into dy by dx whole cube. Into? Into dy by dx whole cube. And now you differentiate it again to find yes, the Perfect. <clears throat> okay, so Badeep, so if there are eight lines in a plane, no two parallel, no three concurrent. How many regions? Regions can be bounded, unbounded. Does a plane get divided into? Can you think out loud? 
uh, yes sir i am just uh, recognizing a pattern so i first considered uh, three lines because it is also said that no three are concurrent so yes sir so i made just three lines so I, and i just found the uh, there are only one uh, bounded region and all the others are unbounded so so i am talking about the total number of regions total regions yes sir one two so uh, it, it can be bounded or unbounded both yeah uh, so i uh, i just got something that uh, if i consider it, uh, when i uh, consider it three lines there are four such uh, regions when i consider it five lines no, there uh, are four so uh, so when i consider three lines there are four such regions. so I, I i started from two actually. okay so when I consider, uh, two, uh, consider two lines, there are four regions. Uh, and when I consider three lines, there are seven such regions. And so uh, when, when I consider five lines, there are 10 such regions. Four, four so, lines. Yes, sir. Four lines, there would not be 10, there would be 11 regions. So make a statement. Okay, so basically you'll be able to form the pattern. See, okay, four say eleven or okay, five say I think it will be sixteen and so on. <laughs> but what is any? Tell me the reason of this pattern. So two, if there are four regions which are formed by two lines. Yes, sir. Why are there seven regions when the third line is added? And for that matter, why are there eleven regions when the fourth line is added? Okay, so, uh, then, huh, so, so when I uh, like uh, cut two lines, so we cannot pass it through the meet uh, like intersection of the third, third, second, both two lines. So I have to cut it uh, through the third line, so that it cuts both the two lines. Uh, so uh, when we uh, just do that, we uh, g uh, gain extra like three lines when we just, when we just do that. So there are extra. Uh, three partition regions uh, we form when I just uh, sketch uh, draw another line that cuts the other two lines how three so, so basically so, so this the, was one initially this was two this was three yes sir so the, so the big the regions that are already cut uh, they are separated into two parts all so hmm. so that's why uh, it's considered of uh, like two two and two two and two two so there are uh, three regions that are uh, divided into two parts. So it is six plus one, uh, seven. Okay. Just... Take care. Take care, so we are ending it now. So, so but if, uh, this was uh, far better than uh, the last interview that you did. Okay, so there is... Uh, a stark improvement in the process that you have conducted yourself. Uh, the only thing is smile. So smile is one thing that you have to remember. Okay, so ye apne dimag ko batana aur apne aap se bolna ki smile karna hai. Okay, and you were looking much more confident than the last thing that we conducted, and uh, you were able to answer almost everything. Okay, so. Uh, Huh. So uh, the uh, questions I answered were correct or wrong actually. Yeah, they were correct. They were correct. Okay. So the point of uh, local minimum uh, inflection was that like the yeah. correct okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, so when when is your interview? Sir, it's on twenty eighth. Twenty eighth. Okay. Yes, sir. So, so the one question uh, you just gave me, I just wanted to ask the mod of X per K. Uh, mm -hmm. I just uh, did it for k greater than one. I can prove it that it is differentiable and continuous mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. And for k equals to one, it is non differentiable. Mm -hmm. But uh, for k zero k less than one, I guess it is not uh, defined or yes. at k. zero to one, it is defined. But yes, zero to one, it, the function is going to be continuous but not differentiable. Yes, sir. Okay. Moreover, <clears throat> what you did was you did it split wise and then you differentiated. Instead, yes, what you should be doing is. Uh, you should do it by using the differentiability of uh, LSD and RSD. Okay, sir. Right. Yes, so sir. for X, even for X greater than one, you should have done this by 
left hand derivative and right hand derivative fx minus f of 0 upon x minus 0 and then show that if k is greater than 1 then both the terms are going to be 0 okay sir in fact in this only the same uh, by using the same rule you can prove uh, that it is non differentiable in between 0 to 1 you don't have to do it separately okay sir to use first derivative uh, sorry not first derivative lsd and rsd okay sir jibility rather than uh, doing it split wise and then differentiating it's because differentiation jo hai, that is bypassing differentiability yes sir differentiation differentiability is what i so when yes. you when you do differentiation you're bypassing this you're assuming ki ye to hoga hi. okay differentiable to hoga hi. Tabhi tum differentiate kar rahe ho directly sir but kyun hoga? Wo <clears throat> they use LSD, RSD. Otherwise, uh, I think yeah, it was good. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, if you have any questions, you can ask me to ask you 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 to so, we have a lot of people who are still running short of time. So, we have to say that Jinka recently 27 28 interview. We have to say that 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 we have to say